Hello people, hanging out on the boat here at um, Rebecca Spit on the Marine Park up here on Quadra Island. Hot day, quite smoky from the wildfires. You can certainly taste it. It's unpleasant. Touch of a headache going on. Um, otherwise, a nice trip. We've caught a lot of fish and um, are enjoying the seafood. Boat's been good, no problems. Um, weather, if it hadn't been for the smoke, would have been really nice. Um, thanks to a lot of you who have joined the, uh, the new channel, and I appreciate uh, everybody kind of joining in there and weighing in, uh, taking on the new project, which is going to be uh, much more um, sailing focused, I suppose, although I'm sure I can't keep my own opinions and philosophical stuff out of it, really. I will I'll be uh, less overt about that um, as we go on, more, more focused on the practical. Well, the entire kind of concept I have between, um, well, the concept that I have here for the, uh, the current channel is simply uh, about um, demonstrating, I guess, this lifestyle that I've been involved in for almost 30 years now. Um, what it means, how it is that you go about it kind of realistically. Um, not only the things that make it attractive, but the things that uh, make it uh, difficult. Um, there's certainly both, right? I mean, we've had the conversation on this trip a bit because, you know, with the smoke and the congestion in the harbors and the uh, degradation, degradation in the marine environment. That's cool. Cool guys getting under underway here. Um, You know it can be it can be discouraging and you know i've been at this long enough that i the lifestyle uh that i enjoy here is markedly more difficult than it was when i got involved it's um like i say it's it's a less abundant environment and there is more pressure um facing those who would uh be would-be participants in this lifestyle than there was when I first got started. Generally speaking, the quality of the relationship that I would say that the average mariner has to the environment in which they uh, inhabit um, is is it's markably less robust. There's there's much less inherent respect. For the marine environment and what there is that the uh, sea teaches you much less consideration for other boaters uh, that's changed a lot a lot of it comes down to the fact that technological advances and especially tools of navigation have made it um, possible for people of you know pretty mediocre commitment to this world um, to be out in it and I mean that's new for sure um, it used to be that you just couldn't be a complete bonehead to participate in boating but today uh, with modern chart plotters and all the rest uh, there's very very little that a person actually needs to know um, to be out on the water and you know that certainly shows but it also shows more in the lack of consciousness um, that many boaters hold either, again, for um, the environment that they have the privilege of um, inhabiting or their neighbors, and um, that's tough. Um, still, you know, the question I've been asked a lot, Adrian and I have been discussing this a lot recently, is like still, in spite of the difficulties, why participate in this lifestyle? And uh, she had been reading a book that she had gotten down at Fishery Supply in Seattle, kind of targeting women. I don't think it was too helpful, but 
in that particular book, there was this whole big to do about, um, you know, how you're supposed to culture your love of sailing and how that, uh, makes participating in this lifestyle so engaging. And I kind of really rather disagree with that. I mean, I've never throughout my entire period of doing this had like anything resembling like a strong, strong love of sailing. Okay. Um, and it's been my experience among people who, uh, have done this for a long time, that that's not unusual, actually. Uh, the sailing is simply a vehicle, the sailboat is simply a vehicle, by which you get to participate in a lifestyle um, that affords a lot of other things, which I do love very dearly. Um, mostly the uh, completely conspicuous self-reliance, the completely conspicuous freedom um, the autonomy, um, especially in a world that, uh, is getting to be more and more, um, oppressive and encroaching on the choices of the individual, regardless of where you might sit on the ideological spectrum. I'm sure that you could feel that. Um, here, we still retain the ability um, to more or less live life by our chosen terms because of the uh, relative economy of the lifestyle and the mobility of the lifestyle and everything that goes with it. If um, we make the choice to say no, we have the... Um, capacity and the agency by which we literally can act upon that. That is a privilege that very few people possess anymore. Um, it is actually the autonomy that I love about this lifestyle far more than sailing. Um, and it is the thing that, uh, in spite of the fact that sailing gets often difficult, I do feel that my choices here are still um, really well supported and um, well I'd offer that up as something to think on I mean those of you who have followed my content for a while know that I'm gravely concerned about many aspects of what the future is going to hold and more people are every day um, too so I advocate for this lifestyle because it is one of the few opportunities by which you can still find actionable strategies by which to face a difficult future, whatever that might look like, with courage and autonomy and um, an authentic moral compass. That's what I love about this lifestyle and um, certainly what I would most want to share. Cheers.